I just love how you can smell it everywhere. <laughs> you just see that all the time. What's up everyone, I'm Chris. We've got stuff behind the camera and we're hungry to travel. We are here in Davao City, the durian capital of the Philippines. So today, we're gonna try some Filipino durian, but first, let's go get some meat for breakfast. Come on. Then the original sauce of actually. Ah, chicken. We are here for breakfast this morning at Young Sati, which is a sati store. Now what sati is, it's similar to Indonesian and Malaysian satay. So what we have here is we have beef sati and chicken sati. And you can see here the lovely sauce that is poured all over it. And we have the two lumps of rice here, which are called puso. They are rice wrapped in coconut leaves. And puso means heart in Filipino, so they look like little hearts. <laughs> and we have the chicken sati here, nice big chunks of the chicken. Wow, look at that. Now what makes the meat special here at this location is that they marinate the meat first before they grill it and then they pour their special sauce, which is an authentic sauce that they've made straight from the south. The recipe is from the south of the country where sati has become very, very popular and originated. And the difference between this sauce and a sati sauce that's from Indonesia or Malaysia is that it's not a piece nut sauce that's used there. It's more of a sweet and spicy sauce and I can already smell the sweetness off of the bowls here. Wow, look at how thick the sauce is here. And such a nice orangey color. You can see the pepper in there. So let's just coat our beef sati here before we take a taste of it. Let's get a taste of the sauce first. Mm. Oh, so it is very thick but it does have a very spicy flavor to that. Slightly sweet too. Ooh, that is very, very nice. It is like a sweet and spicy sauce. Ooh, very peppery as well. That is mm, delicious, but. Ooh, you can see the meat is nice and red from the marinade, but it's so, so tender. Each little piece there, nice and juicy still. And with the sauce, Mm, it's almost like little steak bites. That is really, really good. You can see the rice here. It is just so packed. Just very, very dense. A nice ball of rice there, the puso. So let's get a bite. Mmm. Okay, I like it with the rice because the rice just soaks up that sati sauce and actually helps with the heat of the sauce. It lessens the intensity of the spiciness of the sauce. Mmm. Let's dig into the chicken sati now. And we were told by the owner, Jerome, that traditionally you're supposed to eat the sauce first and then slowly eat the meat, the beef, the chicken, the rice. So, mmm. It's kind of like a soup. And it's just so thick and almost creamy tasting as well. Mm. And Jerome was telling us as well that the main ingredient that enhances the flavor and the aromas of the sauce is the use of turmeric. You can really taste it. It's a bit spicy again, even on a hot day, but it is just still so flavorful. I need to dig into this grilled chicken. Just look at the size of this here. 
Look at that. And you can see from this end that doesn't have too much sauce in it. The redness of the marinade, the chicken there. Oh. Mm. Oh my god. Look at that. Even though it's been grilled on the grill there, it's so juicy still. When I bite into it, it has so much flavor. It's got a nice charred flavor as well, like a barbecue smoky flavor to that. And the sauce. Mm. Wow, I don't know which one's better, the beef or the chicken. They're both just so yummy. This is honestly an amazing way to start the day for breakfast here. How could you go wrong with beef, chicken, meat? Mmm. Delicious, sassy sauce and rice, of course. Yeah, that's good. And the awesome owner, Jerome, just gave us a couple of <laughs> Mountain Dews as well. It's supposed to be really popular to eat with the sati, so cheers. Mm. Ooh, nice sweetness, so refreshing. And it actually does cool off the spiciness. Mm. From the sauce too, I can see why that's a good combo. And you always gotta have your ultimate sati bite. The chicken the beef there. Oops. Mm. Oh, ultimate meat combo, definitely the way to go. Ooh. Mm. So this is the owner, Jerome, and as he likes to call himself, his nickname is Young, and this is Young Sati. Thank you so much. Oh, salamat po, Young. The Sati was masala, delicious. Thank you for everything again. You're Thank very you welcome. so much. If you're ever in Davao City, definitely pay Young Sati a visit for some delicious, authentic Sati made by Young. Oh, delicious. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
base has quite an aromatic flavor to it. You can really taste like the garlic in there. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. Mm, very musky. Mm. Mm. And it's nice because it's a very light soup, but it is rich. You have such a nice flavor from the bone, the bone marrow, and all the collagen that has just melted into the soup after being stewed for so long. Mm. That's lovely, but I really need to try a piece of this meat here. Okay, let's just give this meat cut. Look at that. It's just so tender. tender. It just comes apart like that. Barely need to cut it, actually. Look at that. Nice and pink inside, cooked perfectly. Just give it a little dip in the calamansi fish sauce here. Mmm! Ooh! That is very flavorful. Quite a sourness to it. Very nice, and that meat, oh my gosh. It's so tender, it soaks up the soup. That's delicious. Mash it up. Very nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And the meat, it's nice because it absorbs all the flavor of the soup. So it's very flavorful, the meat too, not just being tender. I'm gonna try this corn too. Oh, the corn goes well with it, good too. Get a nice crunchiness from the vegetables with the softness of the meat. Mm. Let's get this bone marrow out here. <gasps> wow. Look at that. Wow. wow. It will add more so memory. Much. Yes, much more memories to the dish. Look how much yeah. bone marrow is there. And there's still some left inside there. I haven't even gotten all of it out. But look at that. Look at that marrow. So just like butter. Look at that. Alright. Mmm. Oh, just melts in your mouth, seriously, like butter. That's incredible. And the flavor of the ginger is so strong. And moving on, I really want to try this tapa kalaba, which is the cured meat. Look at this. Let's squeeze our calamansi on top to give it a nice little extra flavor. Love the calamansi here in the Philippines. Just give it a nice mix up here. Oh, let's get a big bite here. Look at that. Let's try this out. Mmm. Oh, that's quite crispy. Mmm. Crispier, I think, than I was imagining. I thought it was going to be crispy, but that's really nice. You can taste all the little individual pieces of the fried meat. Very nice and crispy. I love that crisp. And the flavor of the calamansi, masara. Very nice. Yeah, adds the more. Yeah, it adds a nice sourness to the meat. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the flavor of the meat, the carabao, is very nice. It's strong, it's meaty, but it's not overpowering. It's rich. That is very flavorful. It's a nice rice bite too here. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. I feel like that's really nice with the rice because you have the softness of the rice and the crunchiness of the meat. So it's a really good combination of textures. This is very, very delicious. And I love the use of Kalabao, the water buffalo here in the Philippines. Such a tasty meat. Mm. All right, so last but not least, we have our inalang, which is the carabao soup. And look at this soup here. Look at the size of the chunks of carabao beef in here. So big and meaty. Mmm, very rich in flavor and that meat, incredibly tender. Just really melts and falls apart in your mouth. But the flavors of this, similar to the balado, but almost stronger actually. The ginger and the garlic in there, mmm. This is beautiful, very flavorful. Thank you. The owner just gave us another helping of the tapa calabao, which honestly I think is quite possibly our favorite thing here, although everything is really good. And this is not something you find very commonly even in Davao, so this is one of the only places that does it, and they just do it so good. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having us and just explaining all the dishes to us today. I can see why it's such a popular place here. Your food is just so flavorful. Thank you so much again, Auntie Sana. Thank you for such a wonderful experience here. This has been great. In Davao, you definitely have to come here. Oh, look at all that cherry! Wow, look at all this cherry! It is 
so heavy. We are here at the Mag Say Say Fruit Stand and there are a ton of durian stalls here selling Filipino durian. So we are here to have our pick and try and taste the Filipino durian. I don't know which one to pick, so let's just go take a walk and see which one looks tasty. Our durian stall here. This stall sells the durian for 80 pesos per kilo. You have all different sizes from like medium sized ones to like seriously ooh, heavy, heavy big ones. Like look at the size of this durian. Holy moly. You see inside this shop too, there's a whole bunch of people eating durian. I think they had like three and they're buying another one here too. So this is where you come to try durian in the valley. This one's pretty small. That's too small. Yeah, too small. They have a whole nother table of durian here as well. So there's just so much durian. strong as like Malaysian or Thai durian to be honest. These are some big pieces of the fruit here so let's get to it. Let's tuck in. <laughs> you love durian? This is heaven right now. So here we have our three kilo durian and I think there's about four or five pieces of the durian fruit here. Big pieces. Oh man, this smells and looks so good. We got our gloves to wear to eat our durian with, so. The pods are so massive, like look at them. <laughs> got our gloves on. Oh wow, it's so soft. Oh, it's soft. Oh that. wow, it just comes right apart there. That's so creamy. Look at that, it's so creamy. I'm gonna grab one of these top ones here. Look at that, it just pops right out. Wow, it is honestly like an avocado texture. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. We haven't had durian in a while and we love durian. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Ooh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. That's strong. It is very strong. That is a strong durian. It's a bit wow. sweet, mm -hmm. but also slight bitter taste to it mm. too, this one. Mm. Just like a little almost sourness in a way, but it's so creamy. This is very creamy and custardy. Super creamy. You can just see how soft that is. Look at that. It just comes straight away mm. from the seed, from the pit, the flesh. Oh. Mm. So we've had durian in Thailand and Malaysia mm. before. I have to say this one is slightly less sweet than the ones we've tried in Thailand Might and mm -hmm. Malaysia, but super tasty. Again, I love the creaminess. It is the creamiest durian that we've ever had. I think so. And to be honest, mm. there's actually so much flesh to it. Like the seed right in the center here. You can, I don't even know if you can see. Oh yeah. So there's the seed on the other side, but there's just so much flesh around the seed. This is really good durian. There's just so much meat on these mm -hmm. fruits though, on the durian fruit here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's get some more of this durian. Oh my gosh. We have a lot of durian here to eat. It is seriously so heavy each oh. individual piece of the durian here. I was gonna say each piece is very hefty. So much meat on this piece. Look at that. <laughs> that one's huge. Actually. I know right? Look. <laughs> and this is just part 
part of it. Like we're only just starting to get into our durian here. And again, this was super affordable at only mm -hmm. 80 pesos per kilo. That's $2 a kilo. So we got a three kilo durian here for what, six bucks, which is extremely affordable. And the reason it's so affordable here in Davao is because this is actually the durian capital of the Philippines. The island is full of really lush volcanic soil, as well as just the perfect tropical climate to grow durian. So it's the main producer in the country and therefore the cheapest where you can find it in all the country, which is perfect for us because, did I already say how much we love durian? We love durian. We really do, yeah. we really do. <laughs> Mm. And this is a great place because there's so many different stalls that are selling durian so you can go up and down, see the different variants that they're selling, the different prices, and just make your own decision. Mm. It's like ice cream. It's that creamy. Oh my gosh, look at that. So much meat, again. And this is a pungent durian, I have to say. Mm. I think we're gonna have some stinky breath after this. We need to brush our teeth. Or some wonderful breath, you know? It depends who you are. I guess so. Around each other, I guess uh, it's gonna be lovely. It will be, it'll be perfect. We'll stink together. All right, let's crack this puppy open. Oh, Ow, it's prickly. Oh, oh my gosh, look at all of that. Oh my goodness, there's so much fruit in this durian, holy, look at that. Look at that, the fruit just pops out so easily. That's when you know it's nice and ripe and ready for eating. And look at the color and just how creamy and custardy the durian is. Not juicy or anything like that, just creamy and custardy. Again, like a really ripe avocado or something. That's incredible. There's so much meat. Look at it just flop off here. Ready? Ready? Uh, <laughs> wow. And look at this last piece we have here. Look at all of that. The pod of the fruit is just huge. I can't get over it. I'm so excited right now, I'm so excited. We've never had our own full durian. No, we've never been able to buy a whole one because no. they're usually always way too expensive. So it's so expensive. Yeah, before now they've been like, what, almost $80 Canadian for a full one. So I'm like really ecstatic and stoked and excited right now. This is, this is a great day. And the gentleman who sold us this durian, he was telling us that this variety is called cob. So this is a cob durian. This experience is a must. If you're in Davao City, you have to come and try the durian because it's everywhere and they don't call Davao City the durian capital of the Philippines for nothing. So, no sir. Get some durian. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm. I just love how you can smell it everywhere. <laughs> you just see that whole thing. <laughs> We're finishing off our day here with a Davao classic tuna. Come on. Wow. Onya na lang nash. So we're here with Bing, the owner of Dodd's Eha Eha to try pure tuna belly. So we've got our piece of pure tuna belly here and she has a few other orders on the grill here, which is the penga belly, the jaw and belly, and also the jaw itself. But we're here for the pure tuna belly and this looks like it's gonna be a nice piece of meat. Big eye that tuna. Fish, the big eye tuna, yes. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> so our special sauce. So soft. Yes, so that we can put the sauce. One side, and then after Ooh. that. Okay. 
All right, we have our tuna feast here. We have our big piece of the grilled tuna belly, as well as our kinilau. Now, this one's cool because it hasn't been mixed up together, so we're gonna do that ourselves. Look at this tuna belly. So juicy, and that is a heavy piece. So it's been cut so that all the nice marinade and sauce can get inside of it. There's a nice piece of skin on the bottom side there and there's no bones in this piece of tuna. So this is gonna be nice and really easy to eat. Look at that, just how tender the meat is there. Just completely pulls apart. Wow, and it's grilled perfectly. Get a nice big piece of it and look how it just flakes like that. Mmm. Oh my goodness, the flavor is perfect. Not fishy at all. And you can really taste the smokiness from that grill. It's almost like it's been smoked than just grilled. The char in it is nice. And the flavor of that marinade is perfect. It goes wonderfully with the tuna. You can taste the garlic in it, soy sauce, it's a little bit salty. Mmm, mess it up. Very delicious, it's lovely. It's grilled so nicely, and that marinade that you put on is very flavorful. Super tasty. Salamat po. Oh, delicious. This really is masarap. <laughs> you can see just how meaty the tuna belly is. It's just pure meat in there. Look at that. And it just flakes right off so easily. Get a nice dip in this soy sauce and calamansi there. Mmm, that's quite nice. Mmm, brings out some different flavors in it actually. Kind of dulls down the smokiness a bit. Mmm, but that calamansi really brings out a different sourness to it, kind of a different dimension. Mmm. Mmm. The flavor of that grill, the smokiness. Mmm. Just so good. Look at this crispy skin on the other side. Yeah, very nice too. <laughs> so here we have our appetizer for our main, which is the Kenilau tuna ceviche, fresh raw tuna along with ginger, red onion, cucumbers. So it's all raw and so fresh. So what we're gonna do is make our own kinilau here. We have a salted black bean as well as a coconut vinegar made from coconut wine. So that's gonna be tasty and interesting. So what we wanna do is squeeze the calamansi onto the tuna to cook the tuna. So doing so will turn the tuna white because of the acidity of the calamansi. Let's give this tuna a mix first. And see it's slightly turning more white, the pieces, because of the calamansi there. Let's get our cucumber. See the black beans there? And our coconut vinegar here. So we'll put a teaspoon on there. One more? One more. All right, one more. We've been told to put one more of the coconut vinegar. I mean, you can never have too much coconut. And in this case, coconut vinegar. <laughs> okay, let's give this a big mix up here. You can smell the fresh tuna. Mm, and that coconut vinegar, it has a bit of a coconutty smell to it. So many ingredients here, so many fresh ingredients. Nice big pieces of the tuna there. Ginger, cucumber, the black bean. Mmm, oh. <laughs> that raw ginger, definitely a punch to the face. It is very, very gingery because it's raw ginger, but it doesn't overpower the taste of the coconut vinegar. And to be honest, the nice taste of the raw tuna. Mmm, that all works really well together. The saltiness from the black bean as well. Mmm very gingery but the crunch from the cucumber as well mm, just a fresh salad a fresh tuna salad tasting mm, so fresh big eye tuna here mm. oh, just so flavorful that's it for our street food tour here in Davao City thank you so much for watching everyone if you're interested in checking out any of the places
places that we visited today, make sure you check out the description box below for all the locations. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to come on our next food adventure with us. We're hungry to travel, and we'll see you next meal.